Another statue may be coming down. San Jose City Council discussing right now whether to remove the statue of Thomas Fallon from downtown. Now, Fallon is credited with being the first person to raise the American flag in San Jose. But critics say it came at a high human cost. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bayer's Damien Trujillo, joins us from San Jose to tell us more. The city already removed a statue of Christopher Columbus from City Hall, and now it appears Thomas Fallon is next. Supporters will tell you that it stands majestically on Julian Street, just north of downtown. American flag in hand during the Mexican-American War, Thomas Fallon became one of the first mayors of San Jose. And like many other historical figures, his own history followed him. But when I see statues like this, uh, these are the people that uh, conquered America, killed indigenous people, raped indigenous people, and uh, they have no, no place here. It's that sentiment that kept the Fallon statue in storage for decades. In 1988, activists demanded the city erect other public art first, art that they felt better represented the area. So this large table in honor of educator Ernesto Galarza went up. Then the city built Founders Park, or Parque de los Pobladores. And after two other ethnic projects were completed, the Fallon statue finally went up in 2002, but the stigma remained. He was really unscrupulous, unethical, immoral, and he was a liar. Kathy Chavez Napoli was one of those who spearheaded the fight against the statue more than 30 years ago. With a wave of other monuments of controversial figures coming down, Napoli is applauding the city council as it prepares to vote to take down Fallon too. I really think it should be melted down. I don't think there's any way that it can be rehabilitated. Over the years, activists have done everything to the statue but tear it down. The council can vote to put it back in storage, or it could decide to loan it to a museum or a university. In San Jose, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.